this is not going to be pretty. You've been warned. Hey guys, welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. My tooth putty is out for this very specific and serious video, so I'm sorry that I'm lisping extraness. If you are new to my channel, welcome! We love you already and we accept you and we want you to hit the little subscribe button so that you can become part of the Shani family. We are in the awesome community that happens in my comment sections. You are guaranteed to find many, 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 many friends in my comment sections and a buttload of support. Um, I'm very proud of my comments. I'm proud of the community, this little Shani community that we have going on. So you really should come and join us and I promise you'll never feel alone because somebody, somebody will always be for the, there for you in the comments. It's amazing. I love, I love my Shani Fanny. So come be a Shani Fanny with me. And yes, I know Shani means vagina in England, but here Fanny means but, well, which is better? Either way, I love my shiny vaginas and I love my shiny butts. So let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so, the, so I wanted to do this video today because somebody left a comment and I forget her name at the moment, but I'll put it right here. Thank you. Asking if I would be too uncomfortable to show a close up of my teeth because I've tried to stay, you know, at least a couple feet away from the camera. I don't want to get too close. It's very embarrassing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that today. And I thought that that would be a perfect time for me to talk about what bulimia actually does to your teeth. Bulimia causes you to have dry mouth, severe chronic dry mouth because you're malnourished, because you're not drinking enough or keeping enough liquid down. So you're constantly dehydrated and malnourished, which gives you dry mouth, which makes your teeth way, way easier to break. I've explained this so many times that if your mouth is so dry, if you're not making enough saliva, your saliva acts as a second enamel for your teeth. And when your saliva is dried out, your teeth dry out faster. And it's like they lose an enamel layer and then they break and they crack and they get infected and fall out and all that stuff. And by the way, if you think that you're okay with an eating disorder because you have anorexia and not bulimia, my friends, trust me on this one, both Things can give you tooth loss and tooth problems. I am living proof of this. My dentist told me that because you're still malnourished. If you have anorexia, just because you're not throwing up acid in your mouth, you're still malnourished, which causes dry mouth, which causes tooth problems. And I am living proof of this because I did not start actually having my teeth break and rot and all that stuff until I started my anorexia up again a couple years ago. So I am just saying, I am living proof. I know most of it has to do with bulimia, but I'm telling you, anorexia affects it too. So don't even think that you're getting away with it if you're not doing the bulimia-ness. You can still get the teeth. It becomes very, very difficult to eat. How ironic is that? That, that, that a disease where you constantly are overeating can someday turn into a thing where you can't eat anymore. I can't eat very many things anymore because I ate too much and threw up too much. So that sucks. All of the tooth problems you have, all the cavities, the root canals, the surgeries, the breaking teeth, roots hanging out of your teeth like mine are, cause unbelievable pain. Just think about the last time you had a cavity or maybe when you had your wisdom teeth out or whatever and how excruciating teeth pain is. If you want to chew anything ever again, my friend, do what you can to get yourself some help. That's what this whole video is, is to tell you guys to get help can't even tell you the pain that I've gone through and if nothing else if I, I feel ridiculous yelling without a tooth if nothing else gets through to you people about what can happen to your teeth whether they look ugly or or it costs you a lot of money or whatever it is the pain of it alone is so not worth it it affects everything because it's right by your brain it makes it very difficult to think sometimes and it's very difficult to think about anything other than the pain because it is so 
painful dealing with all of this. So it kind of goes along with the teeth, but it's more the mouth. Bulimia can cause a lot of mouth sores and abscesses inside. Now abscesses could be related to your, to your dentalness, like to your teeth but you can also get abscesses in your cheek, in your throat, and you can get and you can get mouth sores everywhere. I've told you guys before, the corners of my mouth always split open. One, because I have dry mouth and I'm dehydrated and so they'll split open, but also you just get these sores. I don't even know where they come from. I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell you where they come from, but it's true. You can't brush your teeth after you purge. Uh. Excuse me. So even if you're thinking to yourself, okay, well I can throw up, I can purge, I'll just brush my teeth afterwards. No, that's actually worse for your teeth than not brushing them. But not brushing them soon turns into problems, doesn't it? It's the basic rule that your parents told you. If you don't brush your teeth, you're gonna get cavities, and when you get older, you might get root canals, and you might lose your teeth, and blah, 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 blah. It's just simply what we were taught as children is actually true. Because if you are to throw up your food and then brush your teeth, you, when you throw up, you get acid on your teeth. And so if you go to brush your teeth, it'll brush the acid into the teeth even more. So you basically just have to swish your mouth and move on with your life and lose your teeth eventually. So your gums also get really, really weak. Um, as you can see on my bottom teeth, I had these two posts put in, okay, and I'm gonna show you in a minute, and you can see that the gums around them have worn almost all the way down, and because they're just infected, and they're not strong, and they're not anything, so I'm just gonna show you that part up close. I'll show you this part up close later, but right now we're just doing the bottom. See that? The gums used to come up to almost the top. Yeah, so they just recede and burn away probably, who knows, I don't know. Um, so that's really fun too. <laughs> Having bulimic teeth causes major financial problems. <laughs> um, as you all know, it's going to cost, now it might be over $40,000 to fix my teeth. Thankfully, I have been given that money by a donor and by you guys through the GoFundMe account and I could not be more grateful, but I, I also understand that I'm very, very blessed that that's happening for me. Um, not a lot of people get that and I feel very, very blessed and grateful and I remember what it felt like before I was, before I got the money, how devastated I felt and how scared and alone and everything. But all I can tell you is that if you are in that situation, keep doing the right thing and keep doing service for other people and helping other people wherever you can and I promise you will be blessed for it I promise but anyway yeah it does cause a lot of financial problems because not only is it hard on on us financially because of my situation up until now up until I lost up until I'm about to lose my all of my teeth in a couple weeks um, I still had a lot more problems that costed money problems I had root canals probably five of them a year and probably 10 cavities a year and all kinds of problem over and over and over and each root canal would cost thousand dollars or two thousand dollars or whatever like it's absolutely ridiculous i probably spent enough I've, i probably spent the same amount on my past teeth problems that i'm about to spend on my dentures forty thousand dollars i bet you that's how much i've spent through my lifetime just fixing the little problems here and there. Um, so that's a freaking waste of money and <laughs> it makes me feel more horrible about myself but I have to remember that this is a disease and that I am fighting it and that's what matters. So as long as you're fighting it too, it's time for us to start stop being so down on ourselves as long as we're trying and as long as we're trying to be good people and do good for ourselves then yeah, it is not worth it. You have to be on pain medications. You have to be on antibiotics all the time, which for me, I don't know about you, but that kills my stomach. How many antibiotics that I am on, like it kills me and it starts to mess with your brain because the pain is so close to your brain that that's all you can think about. So if you can get nothing else out of this, just trust me, that is what it feels like every day, all day. And you don't wanna be stuck and forced into any more 
medications or treatment or anything else than you have to be because you're already dealing with so much and the last thing you need is your teeth to hurt and cause you you know fuzzy brain and forgetting things and not being able to concentrate and also just because all you can think about is the pain that's all you can think about you know how it is if you've had a bad toothache that's how it feels all the time everywhere so okay i'm done with that rent let's move on <laughs> all right so the last thing i want to talk about is the one that you've all been waiting for which is what it does to the appearance of your teeth <laughs> So you've already been warned, but I'm gonna warn you again, this is not going to be pretty at all, and I apologize. But I've decided, no matter how embarrassing this is, I need to show you up close what it looks like so you can get an idea of what it feels like so that it will hopefully help you to try and get better, try. I'm not asking you to stop throwing up right now, I'm just asking you to start trying because that's, that's how I started to get better as I started trying, but you have to try. Yeah, so, okay, are we ready for this? Okay. As you can see, I have roots hanging out, and I also have the core of the tooth hanging out, like the pulp of the tooth is also hanging out. But that right there, that's a root. Now, you can also see several cavities. There, 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 there. That's a fake tooth, which is why it's white. Then I have no teeth down here. That's fun. Here's those things again. Cavity, cavity, cavity. Okay guys, so if you are bulimic, if you are even anorexic, if you have any type of eating disorder, please trust me when I say it's just not worth it in the end. This is the absolute worst experience I've ever been through in my entire life and I don't think I can even describe it. I really, really don't. Um, I've tried many times for you, but I can't. It just feels, it feels like you're in your own little personal hell and that you feel like you're never gonna get out. But I do know in my heart that I'll get out and I know that you can get out if you need to. And I believe in you guys just as much as I'm probably, I believe in you more than I believe in me, <laughs> but believing in you is making me believe in me even more because if you guys can do it I can do it and vice versa if I can do it you can do it and I'm not saying stop binging purging right now and oh just stop because that's the answer because it's that easy just stop no all I'm asking you to do is to look at the consequences of it and do what you need to do to try and try actually try though um, it wasn't until I actually started trying and not just faking trying that I started to get better. I went through decades, not decades, a decade and a half, more than that, almost two decades of therapy. And I bull crapped my way through every part of it. I faked recovery, I faked getting better, I faked everything. I just faked my way through it. And it wasn't until I started getting really real about it, um, which didn't happen until my teeth broke, unfortunately, but for me, that's how it went. For you, you can prevent that. You can try now. If you still have your teeth, do not take it for granted. Remember that this is what happens. Like, I'm not lying. I'm not making this up. I don't, I don't know how to even fake that. It's true, and it ruins you. It will put you in financial problems. It will put you in marital problems. <laughs> it will put you in pain. It will give you so many more mouth problems and it's just the absolute worst. So if you can get anything out of this video today, please just trust me that while I don't think it's possible to just stop just like that, I do believe it's possible to try and I absolutely am living proof that trying and continuing to try and not giving up when you fall is what brings you success. So, Shani for president. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and a little bit of Give it a thumbs up, a little bit of thumbs up. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a Why can't I do this? Hold on. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you... It's because I have my tooth out. It's throwing me off. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the little like button because that really helps me feel special. And we all know I need to feel special right now. 
and be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you've been subscribed to me already make sure you're subscribed still because YouTube keeps unsubscribing people from me and it's making me really mad so thank you for watching remember forever and always that you are beautiful you are worth it and I am too and I would not be doing this if you were not worth it and beautiful and too so I love you and I'll see you tomorrow bye